All right, so now we're going to talk about uh, putting up kind of a confirmation box to make sure that you don't accidentally delete things that you didn't mean to delete. So let's hop back over to Aptana. And, uh, and I'll note here, my Aptana looks a little different because I have my GitHub or Git attached straight to Aptana, which I didn't have before in my other videos. I had it set up differently. So ignore these uh, you know, red. This is just telling me these are things I've changed since the last commit or the last video I did. And it's kind of a good reminder for me to make sure I send these ch changes to uh, GitHub. So yeah, ignore that. So let's go to our js.php and let's do a little jQuery to get a confirmation box up. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is after we've declared our page ID here, we're going to create another variable and we're going to call it confirmed equals and it's going to equal a confirm box. So confirm and then our message are you sure you want to delete this page? And there you go. So let's go ahead and test this one out. Go back to our page and refresh. And uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put in a uh, another test page here. So I don't, like I said, we, I don't want to keep deleting pages and stuff. So. Okay, so now we have our test page. Now I'm going to click on delete, and hopefully this should come up with a confirmation box. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure what's going to happen here because uh, there's a few other things that I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that it runs the, the query and all that stuff if you click OK. But if I hit cancel, I'm not sure. I believe it's just going to still go ahead and delete. So let's hit cancel. Sure enough, it went ahead and deleted and ran the query. So really quick, let's create another test. And save that. Now let's go back to Tana. So, so we realize now that all that's really happening is the confirmation box is coming up. And it's pretty much halting the script right here on this line. So these two things haven't run yet. But regardless of clicking OK or Cancel, all that does is close the box and it's going to continue on with the script and run these two things. So we don't want that. What we want to do is we want to check. We're going to do an if statement. So if... confirmed is equal to true, which basically says if confirmed worked and the answer is yes, because if it's canceled, it's going to be false. So to our curly brackets, and we're just going to move this inside of here. So now I can save this, hop back over to our page and refresh. Sorry, don't, we're going to need to load the page again. I don't want to send that form again. So, okay, so I'm going to hit delete. We get our dialog. I'm going to hit cancel. And uh, if we did this right, we shouldn't see anything happen down here. Sure enough. So now let's see if the OK works. So delete. OK. There you go. pretty cool.